Okay, so I've been a YouTube viewer for years. I'm well aware of the drama that's, um, that can occur between content creators, content creators and fans, content creators and celebrities, celebrities and fans. <laughs> like, drama is going to come. It can come. And it can come when you least expect it. Now, one thing I've seen over time is that a lot of the drama occurs when content creators or fans do a lot of assuming um they just take small bits of information you can say it come from a source a reliable source whole time it be a stranger you know and it's just people throwing out uh ideas here and there and instead of them just saying well this is what i assume this is what i presume they put it out there as if these are facts now one thing I wanted to talk about real quick was the Melody and Martell accusations with uh, DFAX or DHR or whatever they want to call it where they're from. Um, as far as Melody calling social services about what happened with her son, that's her son, her business. If she felt that her child was injured, yes, she should have uh, gotten more information from Martell on what happened, but she's not speaking to that man. Let's not act like there is just peaches and cream and it's just roses. No, at the time she wasn't speaking to him, so how she handled it is how she handled that. Now, when we get down to talking about Ariane and her daughter and the uh, accusations that were filed against Martell when it comes down to Paris, do I believe that Martell molested that little girl? No. Do I believe that Martell is a pedophile? No. Do I believe that Martell is out here just intentionally hurting kids physically? No. However, I also do not believe that Melody was the one that called defects on those people. For one, it's too obvious. And it could be... Somebody could say, well, you know what, maybe she did it because it's, you know, she'll think that people would think it would be too obvious for her to do that. Who has time to play those type of games? Who has time to go through this type of, when Melody sit up and she say for every demon, every devil, she gets five blessings. That's true both ways, right? You can't sit up and expect for blessings to come to you when people are trying to do wrong by you and it's just because you're favored and then think that you can go and do wrong to other people and continue to be blessed. I don't think she'll put that type of energy out there. I don't think that um, Arion is doing this to herself. We can't exclude the fact that there are other people who do not like Martell. We can't exclude the fact that there are other people out there who do not like Melody. Everybody who's interested in this situation is aware that they're going through a custody case. They're aware that Martell's trying to take her kids the same way. And if you sit up and say, well, who's going to waste their time to call these people to call child services? Well, a fan sat and wasted her time trying to take Ariel's business from her. And this is someone that doesn't even know that girl. Just upset about what's being put out there. People will do crazy shit. People will do crazy shit. It just doesn't matter. When you get so invested into TV shows and personalities and people and situations, people just do crazy things. And for people to put out there, well, Melody's been accused... Nobody accused Mel of that. Don't put things out there in the atmosphere. Just like it was placed out there that maybe Martell doesn't get knocks because he could be abusive towards Sugar Mama. We don't know that. Certain things you don't need to say. You don't need to speculate on. Give your opinion. Say what you think and how you feel without placing blame on other people, without putting people in a negative light. That causes a lot of drama and friction, and that's something I don't do. I talk a lot. I talk enough. I have enough of opinions to give my own opinion without accusing somebody. Do I think Mel called those people? No. Do I think Ariane called those people? No. Do I feel like they were called? Yes. 
could have specifically been by the the uh the source. They knew a lot. They knew a lot about Martel's situation and, and how much he paid for this attorney. For someone who was just on the outside looking in, they had a lot of information. Could have been them. This could be a setup for to get Mel in trouble to make Mel look bad. They're running out of options. They're running out of ways to make her look bad. People are grasping for straws at this point. And I don't put nothing past nobody. I know how people lie. I know how manipulative people can be. My only thing is we need to be more careful of the things that we put out there instead of saying, we can't just say anybody can DM you, tell you information, make it seem factual. That doesn't mean you should put it out there as facts unless you know for a fact it's a fact. <laughs> like, we can't continue to do this. We can't just continue to listen to conversations and uh, misinterpret what's being said. If you can't read between the lines and you can't put, uh, you can't, you don't have a uh, reasoning uh, factors, in, then, then you shouldn't be doing commentary or you shouldn't be speaking on someone's situation just because you're able to, just because the platform will allow you to. Certain situations shouldn't be spoken on. And if you do speak on them, be careful as to what you say. And be careful as to how you put it out there. Accusing this man of being a pedophile, that's awful. Then accusing Melody of being the one to accuse him of it, to put that out there, that's even worse. And yet it's still, I go back to my initial thought, what about the kids? Would Melody be so vindictive to call the uh, HRS and say these things about Martell, knowing this could affect her own children? Even if she was upset enough to want to hurt him, I never see that woman being so upset that she she would want to she would hurt her own kids. I just don't see it. And it's sad that people are really putting these things out there, making these types of assumptions and throwing these accusations on this woman, on that man. I'm not a fan of his. However, going around saying that he he um, did, did those awful things to that girl child, that is, this is ridiculous. And it's sad. And before people do and say anything for a click and a view, think about what you're saying. Think about how this would affect the kids. We're not even thinking about the adults to hell with them. They can fend for themselves. Think about these kids because you would want someone to think about yours. <laughs>